everyone. Hey everyone. Um, so last week I asked you guys to comment about what you want me to talk about this week. I got one comment. So the com person who posted the comment, when we talk about sex, not gonna do that. I'm um, sorry. I'm not going to talk about sex. Okay. But I have a reason for not wanting to talk about sex. It's because of my religion. <laughs> that and I just don't like the idea of doing it. I want to talk about a couple things today. First, why I don't want to talk about sex. And two, LGBT. LGBT. And no, I am not LBG. I'm not lesbian. I'm not gay. I'm not lesbian. And I'm not bi. I'm straight. But I support it. I was re watching some videos on YouTube from BB16. Big Web 16. No recommendation. And one of my favourite people in the house was Frankie Grande. And he is gay. He's proud and he's gay. I like that in someone. They're proud of who they who they are. I was listening to this song. It's an a cappella version of Cool Kids with Fitching the Market Muppets by Mike Tompkins. He is a solo a cappella person. And Kermit says this thing near the middle of the song. Let me just get it up on my phone here. It's like his definition of cool. I can't remember what he actually says. That's why I'm listening to it right now. So, my definition, my, why I don't, okay, I find the bit what Kermit says, and I'll just listen to it. Um, I do not own the song. For me, it's about being who you are. You know, just, just, just being, being comfortable in your own skin. Uh, if you're green, you're green. Uh, you know, you just go back to the swamp and hang out with the folks. So, and that's similar to my view on homosexuality. What Kermit just said in Cool Kids is the same with my views on homosexuality. You are who you are. You have to be comfortable in your own skin. So, if someone's gay, that's who they are. They are comfortable in their own skin. They're being them. Or someone's lesbian, gay, lesbian, bi, if they've been trans. I don't really care. I've, I have a few gay friends myself. Gay and lesbian friends. <sighs> so, right. so the reason I'm not doing what the comments have said, it, talking about sex, is my views on sex, sex and I have a few reasons why. Reason one, it plays into my religion. I am Christian, don't throw. Always been Christian, always will be Christian. And the Bible actually says no sex to marriage. Or well, they don't actually say that, but I like to think it says you don't know how to have sex before you're married, so you don't cheat on the person. You don't commit adultery. I was watching Let's Win the Stars US. One of my favourite people from one of my favourite boy bands and no I am not talking about Nick Carter. I am talking about Carlos Pennebaker. So it, they were doing f famous movie moments. 
right? Al Gore, Bindi Irwin got perfect tens by doing Dirty Dancing. So of course, he got given Magic Mike. And his partner Whitney was going to make him do really sexual moves. And he was like, oh, that's against, I'm not going to do those moves. Because it's against my faith. That's kind of like me with sex. <laughs> I kind of think it's going to be a little bit against my faith. So I'm going to wait till I'm married. So I don't really know much about sex. I'm just being talking about what my views are. And I'm going to wait till I'm married. So I found the right boy. And that might take a long time. People my age usually watch porn. I don't watch it. I think it's demeaning to women. I think porn is demeaning to women. That's just my views. They might not be the same as the people watching this video, but that's just my view. Okay. So, let me talk about Mike Tompkins. <laughs> Mike Tompkins, he is a, he does acapella. So he's like Pentatonics, but he does it by himself. He has some really good, cool stuff. One of my favorite songs of his is Style slash Lean On. So he has a mashup of the song Style by Taylor Swift and Lean On by Major Lazer. I actually love that song. I actually really love Lean On. Um, Pentatonics actually does the version of Lean On. Which is really cool. So if you guys can see the fucking my glasses, I'll take them off because they're annoying me. <laughs> so another reason I don't like sex or like talking about it is I don't think anyone would ever want to do it with me because sometimes I feel. I'm not pretty enough. I actually never felt that I was beautiful. Except in form. Because not one guy has ever told me I'm beautiful or I'm pretty or asked me out. Well, was it that one guy, I turned him down. Because I didn't like him. He kept on talking about sex. And it made me feel uncomfortable. And if... I would say my type of guy. The type I'm into is they have to be into similar stuff. Or the same things that I'm into. Music. Movies. Entertainment. The world of entertainment. And... Yeah, that would be extremely nice. They have to be considerate. They have to be a gentleman. I don't want a jerk as a boyhood. No girl wants a jerk. Speaking the truth. Okay, so I want you guys to comment below your views on same sex marriage. Homosexuality. So, I want you guys to comment below your views on homosexuality and I will read out the best comments ne on next week's vlog. Um, okay. So, I'm going to start doing this thing this week. I still, I'm still going to. One of my favorite YouTube shows, Superfood, called Weekly Obsessions. So each week I uh, pick something to be uh, obsessed with for the week. The thing, my weekly obsession for the week is the Muppets acapella thing. Even that came out a bit ago. I'm not going to check. It is still awesome. So it's the Muppets. It's Mike Tompkins. 
cool kids. So you can, if you want to watch the video, you can go on YouTube and search my Tompkins cool kids. So that is my weekly obsession for the week. That is my weekly obsession this week. That has been my weekly obsession. So if there's anything, so two things I want you to comment. Reviews on homosexuality. If you like gays, if if you're fine with being gay. So your views on homosexuality and what you want me to talk about on next week's show. And your weekly obsession. So three things that so there's now three things I want you to comment. Your views on homosexuality. What you want me to talk about next week's show. Be a topic or a band. Something you want me to talk about, i.e. a top, uh, topic, point of interest, um, and your weekly obsession. So I'm here, yo guys, is weekly obsessions. So I will be reading out the best views on homosexuality and weekly obsessions. So I'll be at my top three. And if you want to comment random things, just comment them. So I'm saying a next, next week I'm going to start a new vlog, new um, segment of my vlog called Comments on Comments. So I'll comment on one of your, on one of your comments. And if you want to tell me how beautiful I look or how ugly I look, I don't care. Because you guys know how I feel. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the 50-something people who watched it last week. See my last vlog. Um, so yeah, so thank you again for those who watched last week. So comment, those three things. Comment, subscribe. Um, you can like my Facebook page, Emma's Vlogs. Um, so you can follow me on Twitter. At Emma Colker, you I got I got Twitter, I got Instagram, I have Snapchat but I don't use it. So I have Snapchat but I don't use it. So I have Twitter, I have Instagram, I have I have a Facebook page, and I set my Facebook page on public so anyone can come and like it. I'll be posing questions on my Facebook page. So yeah. <laughs> So thanks again for watching. See you guys next week.